Have you ever caught something creepy on camera? I mean, we carry our phones with us everywhere we go and we're constantly snapping photos, so chances are you probably have. In today's video, we'll be talking about some of the creepiest unexplainable photos out there. From photos of ghosts and spirits to photos of mythological beasts. Let's talk about this and more only in today's video. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan. You know me, aka Peach. We know each other by now. Uh, smash that like button, comment something down below, and obviously subscribe to our channel. And now we'll continue on with the video. Starting off this countdown, we have the Scary Family Dinner. In 2009, a photo began circulating around the internet, but we don't know where it came from or who uploaded it. The photo is of the Cooper family. They said they took it when they moved into their new home in Texas. They wanted a photo of the family sitting together in their new home. However, when it developed, something horrifying appeared in the top left corner. A dead freaking body hanging from the ceiling. In 2012, a man came forward saying, Yo, this is my family, but he doesn't know how it ended up online or who even got a hold of the photo. That's part of the mystery. The other part is, what the hell is that thing in the photo? For sure, it's a ghost. One theory is that they moved into a haunted house and one of the previous owners hung themselves in that house. And then they caught his ghost on camera. Moving on to number nine, we have the Babushka Lady. The Babushka Lady is this mysterious woman that gets her name because she was wearing what looked like a Russian headscarf. She was captured in the background during the 1963 assassination of President JFK. Now, here's the thing. She was photographing the moment JFK was shot. When shots were fired, people ducked for cover, but not her. She stood there and took photos of the action. She garnered so much attention that the FBI even searched for her identity. But they failed. And the woman never came forward being like, I have the footage. She never even came forward being like, hey, that's me. I witnessed it all. Maybe she doesn't want the attention, who knows. But still, there's a lot of conspiracy theories surrounding her. Like, was she part of his assassination? Who knows? Coming in at number eight, we have the ghostly hand. This next photo is from 1900, and it's a group of 15 women posing in their work uniforms in a mill in Belfast. Most of the girls have their arms folded in front of them for this photo. Well, let's take a little zoom into the far right of the photo. There you can see that the woman in the third row has a freaking hand on her shoulder. That doesn't belong to anyone. It's just like a little floating hand, like the hand from the Adams Family. <laughs> I'm sorry, but whose hand is that? Literally someone explained that to me. Was there another person hiding behind her? Was somebody edited out? Whose hand does that belong to? I'm confused and I'm hella creeped out. Literally, it's just, ugh. Moving on to number seven, we have The Birds. This next woman woke up and realized that she was in an Alfred Hitchcock movie. Like, seriously, imagine seeing that many damn crows outside of your house. I would have freaked out thinking that it's an omen that the end of the world is here. We still don't have any clue as to why that many birds were on her street that day. She said there wasn't any food or seeds on the ground. If you even look at the birds, they aren't like pecking at the ground looking for food. No, they're just kind of like walking around casually. And apparently there were hundreds of them there for hours. I don't know why there were so many crows there. Maybe they were just having a meeting or a get together. I don't know, either way, it's kind of freaky. Moving on, number six, we have the Grim Reaper. So this next photo was taken sometime in the 80s. The family was taking some normal tourist photos and this photo shows the poster's uncle near the edge of the Grand Canyon. Fine, if you zoom in on that bushy area, there appears to be a freaking person standing there watching the camera. What makes it scary is that this person's face is oddly pale and it looks like they're wearing a big black cloak. The uncle said that they were alone in this area. Plus there were hardly any visitors at the Grand Canyon in the first place, especially for that time of year. So the question is, who the frick is the ghost in the back? Is it the Grim Reaper? Was he just waiting for the uncle to fall off the cliff or what? We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the Space Man. In 1964, Jim Templeton spent the day taking photos of his wife and daughter in a field. But when he got the photos developed, he saw something quite strange in the background of one of his daughter's photo. It appeared to be a person in a spacesuit right behind his daughter. The only other people that had been there that day were some older ladies, but they weren't around them at all. 
Jim was freaked out by this and his story got a lot of attention. Of course you had people calling him a fraud and saying that the photo was fake. But an analyst at Kodak even took a look at this photo and confirmed that the photo was real and hadn't been tampered with. Not only that, but Jim and his family were actually visited by two men in suits and demanded that Jim take them where the photo was taken. When Jim told them he never saw the figure in person, the men got angry and then drove away. So the mystery is, who the heck is that mysterious figure in the background? And what do the two men in black have to do with all of this? In our fourth spot, we have the Hook Island Sea Monster. In the winter of 1964, French photographer Robert Lisseric took this photo of what appears to be a giant sea monster. Some say maybe it was just a shadow that was being cast in the water. Others believe that it was just a group of fish. But to this day, we still don't have any answers. Is this the infamous Hook Island Sea Monster? Is this the Loch Ness Monster's long lost cousin? Or is it just some algae or weeds? I don't know, but some zoologists are convinced that it is a sea monster. Moving on to number three, we have the girl in the fire. On November 19th, 1995, Wemtown Hall in England caught on fire. The whole building burst into flames and all that was left was rubble. Well, on that night, a man named Tony O'Reilly captured some images of the building on fire. After reviewing them later, he noticed that a young girl was in the photo, just chilling on the balcony, engulfed by flames. Was this a real girl? Now they don't believe that it is, for she doesn't appear to be panicked or even affected by the flames. So maybe it's a ghost girl. One theory is that this is the ghost of a girl named Jane Cherm. In 1677, Jane died in a fire in the town. So uh, looks like Jane made a reappearance during the night of this fire, if that's even Jane. Who knows? It's creepy. Coming in at number two, we have the skunk ape. The skunk ape is a famous cryptid in American folklore. It's said to be this ape-like creature that lurks in forests and swamps in some southeastern states. Well, in 2000, apparently a woman got a photo of this skunk ape. But the woman's identity remains a mystery. She mailed the photo to the Saratosa County, Florida Sheriff's Department. The photos were accompanied with a letter from this mysterious woman, who said that this ape was in her backyard and that's how she got a photo of it. Honestly, whatever this creature is, it's terrifying. Some say it's just a black bear, but honey, that looks nothing like a black bear. Also, get it, honey? I don't think black bears, do black bears like honey? Who knows? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> and in our number one spot today, we have the Terra Calico Polaroid. Following the disappearance of 19-year-old Tara Calico, a strange Polaroid was found in a parking lot in Florida. On September 20th, 1988, at 9.30 a.m., Tara left her home in New Mexico to go on a bike ride. She typically biked that route daily. She told her mom that if she wasn't back by noon, to come and get her because she had plans with her boyfriend. When she didn't show up at noon, her mom went looking for her and eventually called the police. They had no leads, they didn't know what happened to her. Then a year later, this mysterious photo shows up out of nowhere and it appears to be Tara bound up beside a young boy. They both have their mouths taped shut and you can see that they are scared. Now Tara's mom has claimed that this is indeed a photo of her daughter. They both have the same scar on their leg. Also in the photo, there's a copy of the novel My Sweet Audrina, which was her favorite book. Seems like it was purposely planted there by the kidnapper. But the question is why? Why was this photo taken? Why was it left in a parking lot? Was it put there on purpose or was it dropped by accident? All right guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these photos you found the creepiest and the most mysterious. And now speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be sharing out comments from the video, top 10 parallel universe photographs that defy science. More photographs, love it. Jack the Gamer commented, I really want to see a parallel universe where everyone has superpowers. Yes, okay, first of all, I would love that because obviously I want to have superpowers, but two, I think it would be really hectic uh, people using their powers for evil and then, you know, you, you know, there's a lot of superhero movies for you to get a gist of how that would go bad. Justin Cameron commented, who always comments on all of our videos, so shout out to you, Justin Cameron. But also, he commented, I visited another dimension before. We were at war with Bigfoot and we were losing. Uh, okay, Justin Cameron, uh, don't know about this comment. Uh, but also, how would we lose to the Bigfoot? Like, was there just one or was there more than one? They're just like apes. Do they have supernatural powers? Like, how could we not? We could easily. I don't. I don't know. 
I don't know. And Stacey Ann Bennett commented, great, I enjoyed, dot, 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 dot. See, I don't think you did enjoy, Stacey. I don't think you did, because, <laughs> because why would you, why would you put so many dots? Like, what about it? Cause you're like, great, I enjoy. Did I enjoy? I don't know. What's with the, I don't even know. All right guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I will see you when I see ya.